how's it going? Um, so, you've been setting up equipment. Yes. What do you, so where is everything? The ectopod here is a base station, um, collecting pretty much all the environmental factors, so uh, air quality and all that. Um, I went around the entire facility and in each hot spot I put a, um, a, a sensor, uh, a remote sensor for the ectopod. So basically, um, you're going to get the UV, the, um, the lumens, the passive infrared, temperature, humidity, and motion. So throughout the night, say we're in one area, and if something's going off, you'll so immediately get a, like a live get, reading. Yeah, get an alert. And then when we're in there, if you see like the light go off, like the, it's like a little green light, that's our motion. Um, okay. But if we're, we're pretty still and we're kind of far away and we see yeah. it go off, it's like a motion sensor. So, okay. Okay. Um, cool. Since there hasn't been too many investigations here recently, I feel like there's a lot more um, eager spirits to kind of like they want to come out and, 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 and talk and communicate so I think uh, they might be curious about this type of equipment I don't know if, I mean obviously it's new to to most places so yeah. it might actually draw th things out that's cool. at least something I'm thinking you know they've had so many amazing different uh, documentation of oh, things that have happened here yes. so but then you talk to people like Greg and he's like if you just sit and wait they come to you so yeah. I think it's a really interesting spot to test the equipment, but also then take it away take it and away, see yeah. what happens. Yeah, um, that, that's the, the ironic thing about paranormal investigation is as much equipment as, as we have, it seems like every time the cameras are down, or yeah. the audio's down, everything's down, yeah. that's when stuff happens. Imagine if you were a spirit and you had, you just saw all this equipment and you're just constantly being demanded, yeah, I mean, like, make this of, light up. It's yeah, like... If they don't know, especially from, you know, Civil War or um, Revolutionary War times, so like all this, I mean, you see lights, what are you going to think? I mean, it's, right. not, it's not something that you would even know what it is. It's almost as if it's like all this equipment is too much of a distraction sometimes. It might be, yeah, even for us sometimes too Absolutely. about it. Yeah, <laughs> so we'll, we'll test it and then we'll take it out. Starting our investigation in the casemates, one of the most active areas. We're heading in. So there's this room. This is where they kept prisoners. And they said it's really active. EVPs. I'll figure. Oh, this now is where the casemate five is where that picture is taken. Yeah. Right? So that's at the very end. Mm -hmm. Were you in this one before? Yeah. Years ago, I mean 10 years ago. Let's start in here. I am heading over to the outer keg, I believe it's called. And apparently there's some light events in there, so I wanted to make sure I could set up the photon intensifying camera um, so that if there's anything in here, we can capture it. Jesus is terrifying. Hello. I'm using the camera screen to see anything, so. So I have a multi-sensor here. Basically, it's a, um, a wireless multi-sensor that uh, senses ultraviolet, passive infrared, um, temperature, humidity, and lumens um, and motion. So anything that would, you know, change the environment in here, this would capture it. Okay, so right now we are in Casemate 5. Um, this is where that photo was taken by the fourth grader, and there's a lot of debate about that photo. But um, I have been in here before, and I know people get a lot of EVPs, things like that in here. Um, we are going back to basics. We don't really have any equipment with us. Greg said if you sit back and let them come, they'll come. So uh, we're gonna we're gonna see if that's true. Kind of hard to be in these casemates because you immediately get a feel for what it must have been like to be a prisoner here. They're damp. They're dirty. They um, have a weird smell to them. They, like, I just can't imagine being crowded person on top of person. 
um, especially knowing that they didn't separate you by your crime. So a murderer could be in here with someone who, you know, had a lesser crime and there was no protection for you if that happened. I'm gonna take a Polaroid at this angle. So Heather has a Polaroid um, because pictures have been taken in, in these casemates and they've captured things. I have a recorder that is hooked up to a sensitive um, mic so I can listen for EVPs in real time and see what we get. Don't mind the airplanes. Okay, set it down. If there's anybody here with us, uh, can you tell me who you are? What is your crime? Did you kill someone? Were you a soldier? The Confederacy is gonna lose. The Union will be victorious. Man, could you imagine just being crammed in here with a bunch of people, maybe not even having a bed? Yeah, and having no sunlight. Yeah. There's these just these little windows, that's it. Dark. That's your only air supply. Dark and damp. I mean, where do they even go to the bathroom? They had buckets. Oh. And they would take the buckets and dump them in the water, but they were dumping it in their drinking water. Oh my god. Yeah. How many prisoners were in here with you? Was it crowded? Can you touch one of us? Communicate somehow if you can't talk. Make a loud bang, move something. What was that? You know what's that mean? Was it like something falling from the, like the brick falling? Is that you, Kat? Mm -hmm. It was in that back corner. Mm -hmm. The only thing I can think of is like the brick, like coming down or something, like a chunk of the rock, or a chunk of the wall coming down. Well, if we're looking at the supernatural, I did just say, if you can't talk, can you do something else? If that was you, can you do that sound again? Was that one of us? No. Did you guys hear that? Yeah. It was like a bang. Yeah. Was that you? Can you do one more sound? Third time's the charm. Where, is that, where does that sound like it's coming from? Behind you. Behind me? Yeah. Do you think it's in the room or do you think it's outside the bunker? I think it's in the room because it, if it's communicating with us, then it's, it's been in that back. I feel like, well, sound travels really weird in here, right? Yeah. 
So it could be anywhere. Well, thank you if that is you. Oh my God. Yes. What? Let me get my thing out there. Oh my God, it's so crazy. So this is where, this is where they put uh, people in solitary confinement, is what we were told. Wow. So just imagine a bunch of prisoners just like trapped in you. That's just crazy. Yeah. Oh my God, there's a little tunnel. Uh-huh. Did you go into the little tunnel? I don't think it leads anywhere. Uh. Awful. It was like nothing. Can you imagine? Oh my god. Yeah. How are they so... <sighs> Would they be with a lot of people? I think so, yeah. I mean, this is... This is a revolutionary war. This is the birth of our country. Mm -hmm. Right here. So right now we are in casemate 11. This is the oldest part of the fort. This is part of the original fort. Um, Greg said they get EVPs in here. Um, again, we're kind of doing this bare minimum, basic, just some EVPs. And we have a camera that we're using because people get a lot of photos here. Are there any prisoners back here? What was it like being in solitary confinement? Would you like to see the sunlight? We can get a message out to your family if you have one. What would it be? Okay, it's pretty quiet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's um. I'm gonna stop my recording. Let's get Zach. Let's bring in some equipment. Uh. Let's start back where we started. Did you hear that? What'd you hear? A voice. I heard it. Yeah. I thought I heard something. It almost sounded like someone maybe talking or screaming and, and trailing off. Yeah. Of course, I turned off my recorder. I have mine on. I, I got it on this camera. Yeah, I heard that. Do you not want us to leave? I just hear her scream. I don't think that was the girls. I don't know if this is recording audio, but I just heard a scream. So I think we just had that voice come through, but it, otherwise it's been really, really quiet. Right. So let's get Zach to come meet us in here now, and we can set up some equipment and see if that changes things. Maybe it needs a little bit of a charge to manifest somehow. I know that seems weird, but I, I think that's how it's worked in other places we've been. Did you guys hear a scream or something? Yeah. Did you hear it? Yeah, like five, ten minutes ago. What it's did down. you hear? Yeah, like I was on top of the um, second story of the officer's quarters, and it sounded like it was over in this direction. I thought it was maybe one of you guys. It was like a, it was like, it, it was short. It wasn't too long. I was like, ah. No, it wasn't us. I mean, we heard it. No, we heard it, and we think we have it on our recorders, but it sounded like it was... Didn't it sound like it was kind of inside? But, like, really faint inside. Yeah, really faint. Like, it was almost, if, I guess, a male voice or higher-pitched male voice just trailing off, like someone screaming, but it was, like, trailing off. 
it, so it sounded like it was coming from the direction you guys were in. Um, but I was up on the second floor. I, I think that if this records uh, audio too, I think I can oh, cool. bring this well, back up to... too because yeah, it, it was definitely something. I, I thought mm -hmm. it was maybe a bird or something. But like no, it wasn't. A, I didn't hear anything after that. That's weird. Yeah, yeah we'll we definitely all heard that. Huh. All right. Well, let's get equipment and see if we can charge up Casemate 11. All right. So we're down here now with uh, Zach, and we brought some equipment to see if it gives us any better results. Um, it's weird down here. We're in Casemate 11. This is the oldest part of the fort. This is part of the original fort and was also used as solitary confinement. So what we know of solitary confinement is um, it was horrible for people. And you can just imagine that whatever is left behind might not necessarily be um, the nicest thing around. All right, Zach, so we got a REM pod. We have one of your sensors that are picking up on environmental. Yes, and that's been since the beginning, so. Great, and we have a Tesla coil and a thermal camera. Yep. Great. Were you a prisoner? The most I did was this, but it's not doing it now. No, like you would have like, sell my hands. Were you trapped in here? Hey, can you touch the uh, Tesla coil? Or the, the thing that's making some noise in the middle of the room? Sparking again. Yeah, I heard that. Was this where you stayed during solitary confinement? Something just moved. Are you in this room with us right now? in a couple days. Uh, we won the war. How does that make you feel? We're all free. Got a lot of sparks. It's sparking. Yeah. Does that make you happy? Anything with the light, can you get closer to that? There's one here, there's one out there, there's one in the hall. If you can't communicate by talking, can you choose another way to communicate? My camera is just that, blacked out. Yeah, I saw a flash or something. Yeah. Is that normal? No, I haven't seen it do this entire time. When it was like a shadow went across my entire screen. <laughs> Is it back up now? Oh yeah, it was a brief moment. You, I, s you I saw, saw it? I oh. saw it when your screen did. Yeah, like, yeah. like a power went out oh. or something. Cool, tell it to come over. <laughs> Alright, if that was you, can you communicate again using something similar? Can you block out another light? I wonder if he's saying an actual but that would do anything. <laughs> There's no like royalties or anything for that. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear that foot? Yeah, I heard that foot was in the uh, uh, it was behind me. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. I thought yeah. you maybe moved your foot. No, I did not move. Yeah, hold on one second. Let me go here. Someone back there? Can you come up and touch the REM pod? You can touch those lights. Or get close. There was just a scuffle. Uh, I heard the voice. Yes. Yeah, like, I heard that too. The cover. 
All right, so, I mean, we had a couple of little things happening in here. We had some voices to check. We all heard some, a couple of things. Yeah. You had your screen blackout, so we got yeah, to see if that was that. something explainable or not. Mm -hmm. um, but let's go, let's go to the next space and see if we can get anything. We have returned. So I have the Ecto box here, which really hasn't gone off. I mean, it does, it's rare. That thing goes off, like I said before. <laughs> you, have, uh, you have something here. And then we have the uh, Tesla coil. Okay, so right now we are in, we're back in casement five, and we brought equipment this time. Uh, guys? What? Something just hit my, whatever I'm sitting on. Hit it? Hit it. Hit it. What Something, did you feel? It went like that, but like it vibrated my... The, I felt that when I was sitting here earlier. Are you serious? Yeah, I, do you remember I saw them like something just moved? Oh, yeah. yeah. Like someone was trying to sit down beside you? Uh, no, it's just more like I'm here, it felt like. Yeah, it felt like, for me, yeah. it felt like almost like the, the floor yeah. went, but I knew it didn't, and I was like, I just felt, I knew I just felt movement, but I couldn't figure out how I did. Cool. Groovy. Yeah. Uh, now, is this where he said it was a Jacob, the judge? Or yeah, there was a judge. The one that, that curses him. Yeah, maybe you should curse. Wait, 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 wait. You heard that, right? Yes. A man voice. You sure it wasn't a geek goose? Maybe. Was there motion out in the hall? I... Was that you, Judge? Heard you don't like to say nice things. If you can't communicate by speaking, is there some other way you can communicate with us? Are you intimidated by me being here? Maybe if I left the room, left the girls alone. Step out. Are you innocent or guilty? I heard you're a guilty man. When you said that, that sparked. Oh, it sparked? Yeah. When I said which part? Guilty man. Uh, I right. heard that you deserve to be in jail. You deserve to be a prisoner. You're a guilty man. Do you hear that? Yes. Can you take every bit of energy that's in this room, take it from our cameras, our batteries, you can drain me, you can drain anything in this room to manifest for us, to show yourself, to communicate, to get your message out, your last words. I don't know about 
because we keep hearing, like, it might just be in the water dripping or something, but I kind of almost hear voices in the distance. it might be light coming in through a window because there's it's sort of shapes is she talking about five i think she's talking about five because yeah. of those windows yeah those little windows exactly. are triangles i don't know the only way i can think for us to be more vulnerable is we have to split up and go to some of these go to the scariest spot to to the scariest think of. spot okay. is there anyone in here with me Yo! Hey, you okay? Yeah. Sorry, my, my, my heart's racing. What happened? 